Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here starting a new layout on the beta test just to see how things go. We are just here at sunup. So the plan with this one is going to be we're just going to run it on like 15 minute day cycles basically and see how how much we can get done in the uh, time that we get. So that's going to be the plan with this setup and we'll just see how it goes from here who knows maybe it'll stick maybe it won't hard telling uh, how do we want to do this all right i'm gonna have to get going i feel like i'm under a time crunch or something not really but We'll just have to see how much we can actually get in in shorter segments. Should be kind of interesting when it comes to laying the track. Uh, we want a switch right. It'd be a whole different process for me because I definitely tend not to lay in a big hurry. And not that I really have to hurry, but we're going to do it in sun cycle. So hopefully we can get a fair amount of work done during the daylight. And maybe we'll run trains or, I don't know, clear the track or something at night. Who knows? we got to get started though, so... Some of these trees definitely have to head out of the way. Alright, we'll do that. And we know we're going to have to take this out straight. Just know we need to make progress in this direction. And somewhere in here. It's going to start going over that way. One wants to say that that's close enough to straight, but I don't know that it really is. We're just going to run it out and take a look. Looks good enough for me. Alright. So we'll take that. I always try to use the wood to kind of line that thing up. I think that's the easiest way to do it, at least in my opinion. Drop that in there. Then we need another switch uh, left. But this one, I think I want to stand that direction. So that it comes out like that. Good deal. Circle mode. Click. And this is where the auto snap thing is going to come in handy. 
click. There we go. Run back, get rid of these, and at least the train should be attached. Or the locomotive, anyway, will be attached to the main line. Wherever that line may go. Alright, we definitely need some more of these out of the way. That's just cluttered. Tree falling down out of nowhere. Give somebody a heart attack or something. There we go. Rip this one out. Probably have to get some help building some of this stuff actually if we're doing it in 15 minute chunks. Just to get some stuff done. Alright, that should be a good enough start. Run in there, run in there. I don't know if we'll keep that tree. Get rid of that tree. It's kind of in a cool spot, so we might just try to keep that tree. Not that tree. Alright, and then we are off to the right. Back into circle mode. Let's keep things cool. See where 130 gets us. Somewhere in there. Should be good. Grab a hold of this. Bring that back to straight. See how long we can run this. Hopefully ground one covered that and we don't have to go back and re-snap this whole line. Looked like it was grounded. Somewhere in here. Nope. It's not going to click because it wasn't grounded way back there where the ground dipped down. Oh, this is where you want to run faster. We need groundwork too. Dev speed or at least a faster speed would be nice. This should be the, if this were the speed of our walking, it'd be great. Even though realistically it's pretty fast if you clock it out, but game-wise, you know, it'd be a lot nicer if we could move faster. I would not complain one iota. Miss the dev speed being in the game, to be honest, when it was in, it was kind of a nice thing. Just to get you where you wanted to go. We should kind of have one more speed option, at least. Somewhere in here, we're gonna have to start turning left. Like it or don't like it. No. But it's kind of chunky, to be honest. But that's the beta right now, it's just kind of chunky. It's hit or miss, like some days are better than others, some days are not great, some days are smooth, just kind of depends on what you get. See some weird things in the game currently, here and there, that's for sure. Alright, get this back to zero, 
And run it again. Just kind of want to follow the natural curve in here without getting too nuts. All right, and then somewhere in here, we're gonna split this track anyway. So somewhere in here, because then I'm gonna turn around. And put a switch in so this switch will run. Probably let it just go right. Should be fine. Alright, let's get rid of some of these. These are not in our way. Uh, sun's starting to go down. It's all about how much can we get done in how little time. No, not really, but. Uh, interesting concept of trying to lay in 15 minute chunks or lay as the sun sun cycle and so far we were setting that to 15 minutes so we'll just have to see hopefully this is the right place it is it is one of these this should not I should have put the switch in the other direction though oh well we're just gonna have to live with it that'll be fine come back hey what did you do uh, uh, need this just to go straight for a little bit. Or for a lot of it. Oh, oh. get out of that tree. the way we want to be out. So here and we'll do another switch which will go right and be on the right. There we go. Not gonna quite make it. To the sawmill, it looks like we are about to lose daylight. Alright, we just need this 
to line up somewhere in here. Decent. Without being too, too crazy curvy. We'll get it. There is the pod. Which means we need the thing to be somewhere over here. Boy, that got really curvy. So we'll do somewhere in here. And then we will lop down a couple of trees. So we know where we are. Oh, there comes the moon. So we have definitely now run past the day. But just so we don't lose our spot. Yeah, I'll just work cutting trees at night. Alright. So you saw with one hand and carry the light with the other. I got you. That works. Alright. Well, whatever. I think that's as far as we're going to get for day one. But uh, I think with that one, we're going to call it a win. We got almost out to the sawmill. So, yeah, we're just going to call that day one of the daylight run. And we'll see where we get on the next episode. So, with that, call it a win. Say thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but they sure do help the channel. Y'all have a great day.